We're Molly and Johan, a Swedish couple that have been sailing full time since 2016. After three and a half years of sailing, we welcomed our daughter Vera on board. Most recently, we bought a farm in Sweden where we are going to build our dream boat ourselves from scratch. So here you see her, the beauty. Welcome aboard and please subscribe for weekly episodes. We're pretty much buddies with the delivery guys now, since we've gotten quite a lot of packages lately. So we just received our first batch of epoxy. That's a big bag of filler, collodical silica. Whap. So we have uh, three of these with uh, epoxy resin, 25 kilos each. And then we have the hardeners. Um, and we have ordered fast hardeners since we're going to work in winter time now with pretty low temperatures. With this hardener, it should be okay to work down to around five Celsius. Uh, that's of course not ideal, but at least it's possible. Um, this amount of epoxy is around one third of the total amount that we will need for the whole boat build. So this will be enough to build the actual hull for the gluing uh, of the strips. And then when it's time to put on the glass fiber on top of that, I think we need to order a second batch, but this should be cover a little bit of that as well. It would have been possible to save a little bit of money if we would have ordered a big barrel of epoxy instead. Um, but the problem is that this product has a shelf life of around two years, I think it is. Uh, if you want to play within the Lloyd's uh, rules for epoxy. So we decided to buy smaller units instead because um, this way we have more control of the shelf life of the product if for some reason this whole project takes longer than we first thought. As you might know epoxy is pretty pricey and this shipment was around $2,000. And in the end, we hope that the total amount for the whole, all the epoxy for the whole boat build will be around five to six thousand dollars. Hopefully, more towards five thousand. <laughs> but we'll see in the end. Another thing that we got was this platform ladder, which will come in handy for many things during the boat build. This will be interesting to see the new lights in here. <laughs> They're not on yet. <laughs> Put it on. Okay, you're ready? Yep. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Pretty bright, huh? What a difference, but it's a very comfortable light. Yeah, it is a bit uh, more white than uh, the old light fixtures, but I think it looks great. It's a, it's a good work light. Very much so, yeah. And now we have around 600 lumens per square meter in here. So that's plenty enough. And the electricity cost will be... It's actually easy. lower than with the other...
Since the rest of the window panels are hopefully arriving this afternoon, I thought it was time to close off this area down here. And uh, I found these lightweight concrete blocks in the stable. So I'll use them standing underneath the, the panels. I think that will work out pretty okay. After making the surface flat, I use a special glue for stone to set the blocks in. Trimmings went up around the blocks on both sides to cover the gaps. So since we're building the boat in the middle of the barn here, and it's almost the full length of this room, uh, I have come to the conclusion that we need to take up another passageway on this side. Otherwise, every time we need to work on this side of the boat, we need to crawl under it or over it. Uh, okay, we could walk up here, but it's pretty narrow. And if you have tools or anything, that can be a bit tiresome to do that every time. So it will be a lot easier to take up another hole in this wall, not a passageway. And the only downside is that it's quite a lot of work and it's dirty. You see this red powder from the bricks? Uh, that will probably be everywhere uh, when I'm done with this work. Uh, I have a large angle grinder that I will try. The only downside with that is that I don't have the correct guard so I can connect the vacuum, vacuum cleaner to the yeah, that big angle grinder. Uh, another option is to use the, um, uh, what do you call it in English? Uh, tiger saw, we call it in Swedish. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, with a large uh, hard metal blade and just cut. That will be a bit less sturdy, I think. Uh, a bit less dust, but it will be a lot slower. The fire alarm went off because of all the dust.
that took a lot more time than I first thought. <laughs> Now the problem was that the diamond blade, the diameter wasn't big enough. So I couldn't cut all the way through, even if I cut from both sides. So I'm going to build a small staircase here. Yeah, and I, maybe I should add that this wall is not a load bearing wall. Otherwise I would never just <laughs> start to cut in it like I've done now. But. I will put some uh, bracing, I think it's called in English, just in here, just a frame. So if these bricks are a bit loose, so they don't fall down. But other from that, it should be okay like this. <coughs> so, time to clean up in here, and me. <laughs> Give it a minute for us. No, no. Yeah. But later, that's not gonna be... Okay, one, wait. Huh? You got it already, okay. Okay. Okay, should okay. I lift? Yes. Ah, nice. You have done this before. Yeah, we were like a... Oh, actually, when I come to Denmark, I stop doing this, I just rhyme. <laughs> okay. All right. So, on three. Yeah. One, two, three. I'm on the duty to hold the, the window in place. But it looks so nice. Really awesome that the guy could help us get this one in. The small one we can take ourselves. You look like a ghost. <laughs> I need a shower. <laughs> so much Big time dust. after that, cutting that hole. But this was nice, getting this into place. With a new opening, I got started with building a frame. This frame is just to support the bricks up here so you won't get them in your head if they would come loose. Um, so it turned out pretty good I think. And now I just need to build a couple of stairs, I guess two steps or so. And um, yeah, it's perfect. Now we can access the boat on both sides a lot easier. First off, I determine the angle of the stairs. Then I calculate the height of the steps. I'm measuring for the grooves where the steps will be placed. I make the steps deep so the stairs will be safe and easy to walk on. walk uh, in the stairs and if it's not the correct measurement between the steps you notice it so much and you get this like sometimes you feel like you're gonna trip 
but here it was very good. And it's nice that they are that deep, as you said. It becomes more stable. So now we have three openings in this wall, but for the middle one here we have uh, some type of, it's not a real door, but we can close it because we would like to keep this wall closed just to keep the heat inside here now during winter. So we can close that one. Uh, we also think we're gonna do something for the little opening up to the loft because there is this like um, sucking of air. <laughs> yes. So it comes in cold air from the loft in here. Try to close that here, here and probably do some door solution for this opening as well, I guess. Yeah, just some simple doors. But maybe also for the middle one, it could be that we need to open that a bit more later on, but I guess we'll have to see that if we really need that once we have started building the boat. Um, I you hope. mean to walk around the boat? Yeah, to, to make the to access walk. to the hall easier, but I don't think we need to, but... That will we'll... be later on. Yeah. Ta några sådana skruvar till där. Tre. Tre stycken. Ja, det blir jättebra. Oj, oj, oj. Tack så mycket. Man har en till. Tack. Before the last window was going in, I put up the outer trimmings and the rubber seal. With the window secured, I cut and placed the inner trimmings. I love it. This will definitely be one of our favorite spots on the whole farm. Yeah, especially when the summer is here and the fields have, yeah. you know, with the, with the wheat. It's just so beautiful because we can see all the changes in, this, uh, in the year from here. Because we have the forest and we will see all the changes in color. Now there is like no leaves left and then when they come back again in the spring next year. And uh, worked really well, well with them. Uh, concrete blocks as well. Yeah, it turned out okay. I mean, we have used what we have found here in the barn, so. Yeah, except from all the, yeah, yeah. the timber. And then we plan to build a bench underneath the windows where we can sit here. I want to sit there, drink some hot chocolate. And we'll looking at the boat. <laughs> yeah, she'll take Look at me home. working. <laughs> yeah. well, I will help you. Yeah. <laughs> For fika time, sit here on the bench and I think we'll have like a bench and then with storage inside of it. This turned out really great. And then we will just modify the barn doors uh, slightly so it's possible to close them as well yeah. if needed. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, you can support our production by becoming a patron and get some extra perks as well. See you next week. 